Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from we Got Tech. Here on my table, I've got three of the hottest gaming phones out on the market right now. Starting from the left, I've got the Asus ROG Phone 5, the Xiaomi Black Shark 4 Pro, and the Red Magic 6 Pro. So for this video guys, I'm going to be running Genshin Impact on all of these phones and I'm going to be testing how hot they get and the average frames per second or FPS that you're going to get on each of these phones. So let's get this gaming test started guys! So all of these phones have 12GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage but only the Black Shark 4 Pro has the speed disk option which I will also be testing out in loading the game. Of course on the ROG Phone 5, I'm going to be enabling X mode, I'll be using the Shark Space on the Black Shark 4 Pro and of course I'm going to be using the Nubia Game Center on the Red Magic 6 Pro. Alright, so all the phones are under maximum brightness. Let's see how fast it loads into the game. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so if you notice guys, the Black Shark 4 Pro loaded it first, followed by the ROG Phone 5, and the last one was the Red Magic 6 Pro. And that is with the speed disk still disabled guys. So if you want to see it here, so here's the option to actually enable it. So if you're on Shark Space, this is the default screen you're going to see. You just need to go to the Innovation Workshop and Speed Mode is there, so you can enable it. So it uses the RAM disk technology and it loads some of the game files into the RAM so that will load a lot faster. So now, since that's enabled, let's run Genshin Impact again. So let's get into the game in 3, 2, 1. Okay, that was pretty interesting guys because with it disabled, our initial test showed that the Black Shark 4 Pro loaded it faster. But I think it might be the case where it's trying to load everything into RAM the first time. So let's log off the game or log out into the main screen and try it again. So let's try it again into the game again in 3, 2, 1. Okay. So ROG 5 still first, followed by the Black Shark 4 Pro, and last is the Red Magic 6 Pro. So let's start off with the ROG Phone 5. I'll just exit out of the other phones just to make sure it cools down so it's going to be an accurate test. So give me a second guys. I'm going to be doing a 30 minute gaming session on the ROG Phone 5 without the cooler first and see how high the temperatures will get. So 11 minutes in, let's check the temperatures. On the middle part is 45.2, on the top part 40.8, and the bottom 40.7. So the back is still uh, pretty cool, so let's check it out. 42.7 in the middle, 35, and 36. 
So with the top and the bottom part of the back side not getting too hot, it's just around 35 degrees, you're not going to be burning your fingers anytime soon and we've already done 10 minutes of game time. So let's continue the gaming test and see how hot it'll get with, uh, with a bit more time. Okay guys, 20 minutes in, it's getting a bit warm in the fingers. Let's do a quick temperature check again. 48.9 in the middle. 43 and 41. Now checking on the back side. Forty-five, thirty-five, and thirty-nine. So temperatures on the left and the right, or on the top and the bottom, are still below forty. It's still pretty comfortable to hold, but it is getting a bit warm, guys. When you're playing the phone, your your fingers tend to touch uh, almost near the back. Then it does get hot. So let's continue the game, guys. Alright guys, so we're 30 minutes into the game and internal temperatures are at around 50 to 51. Actually maxed out at 52 guys and if I measure the external temperatures from the middle, it's 48, 42, and 42. Now if I go to the back, It's 45.9 in the middle. Okay guys, so the first test with the first phone is done. I guess we can exit out of here. So based on the temperature test guys, so we did the test, it's a 30 minute test. So temperature is really got the hottest here in the middle, but on the top and the bottom is pretty bearable. You're not going to have scorched fingers from playing Genshin Impact for at least 30 minutes without the cooler. But of course, I'll be testing out the Aeroactive cooler with the phone later on and see if I can get those temperatures down. So I'll let the phone cool down and we can go on to the next phone on the list which is the Black Shark 4 Pro. So let's turn on Shark Space and I've actually disabled the speed mode because I didn't see much of a difference with it turned on. Okay, I forgot to mention guys that the graphic settings are set to custom because everything is on the high. If I set everything to the highest and then set FPS to 60. Everything is at the maximum. So if this phone is going to get hot because of this, then we'll see how hot it gets. Okay guys, so 10 minutes in, let's measure the temperatures. 40 in the middle. 38.7 in the top. And 37 at the bottom. Now the back side of the phone isn't too hot, but uh, let's measure the actual temperatures. 36, 33, and 40. So it's actually getting hotter here at the top of the phone rather than in the middle like the ROG Phone 5. And if you can see here on the phone monitor or on the real time info, you've got the internal temperature of the battery as 41.6. Sure, you can see that, guys. Frames per second are pretty low, 40s. I don't know what happened. I'm getting pretty low frames per second in this specific area of the game, probably because we're indoors. I don't know. We'll find out later. Okay, 20 minutes in, guys. Let's measure temps again. 43 in the middle. Thirty-eight point six in the middle, forty-three point nine in the top, and thirty-five point one at the bottom. Let's continue, guys.
Hey guys, actually went a bit over time, 32 minutes, 45.6. So moving to the back of the phone, starting from the top, 43.2, middle is 40, uh, 41 and 39.6. And internal temperatures is around 47.4. That 30 minute test with the Black Shark 4 Pro is done. Let's give it some time to cool down and let's move on to the next phone. Alright, so moving on to the Red Magic 6 Pro next. Let's just load up Genshin Impact. So the fan has started spinning pretty fast now guys. I don't know if you can hear it. Hey guys, 10 minutes in. Let's measure some temperatures. So the middle of the phone is 40.5, 42.4 at the top, and 39.2 at the bottom. Center is 38.2, 39.6 at the top, and 36.9 at the bottom. So the backs are staying relatively cool compared to the front of the screen which is good news for us when we're using the phone because that means our fingers won't burn off. Okay guys, 20 minutes in, let's measure the temperatures again. 43.1, 44.9, and 40.9. 41.2, 39.6, and 39.9. So internal is 44.4 guys. Okay, 30 minutes in. 42.1 in the middle. 45.3 on top. 43.1 on the top. It is 44.3. Okay, so similar to the Black Shark 4 Pro, the top and the center got the hottest and the coolest was the bottom. The fans are working overtime and it actually helps keep the phone cool. The phone didn't even reach 50 degrees which is pretty good uh, even though Genshin Impact is a graphic heavy game. So now let's go back to the ROG Phone 5 and I'll be putting on the Aeroactive Cooler 5. So this one doesn't need an external power supply because it gets the power directly from the phone. So let's remove cover here at the side. There you go guys. X mode plus is turned on. And I just wanted to show you guys as well that for the fan, I put the fan speed to high to make sure that the phone is as cool as it can be with this Air Active Cooler 5. Okay guys, 10 minutes in, let's measure the temperatures. I'm going to the back guys. 37.9, of course can't measure the middle. So it's pretty cool, 29.8 and the bottom is 37.9. 20 minutes in, internal temperature is 48. 45.2 on the top. 50.5 in the middle and 42.9 now if we go to the back of the room 38.3 of course this will be cool 28.4 May the animal archive okay 10 minutes to go guys Hey okay guys, 30 minutes of playtime. Internal temps 49. 
45 on the top, 50.5 in the middle, and 42.8 at the bottom. At the top, 40.6, 37.7, the middle will be pretty cool. Okay guys, so it actually got pretty hot on these parts of the phone because this fan or this Air Active Cooler 5 can't really sufficiently cool the phone when gaming so it's still actually better to use a phone cooler like this that has the cooling coil. This one just has a regular fan and doesn't seem to be enough to keep the phone cool. Alright guys, so let's do the Black Shark 4 Pro next. I'm going to be using the Fun Cooler Pro 1. So I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable here. So I want to test out if the phone itself can power the fan. One side there and one side to the phone. Let's see if we can turn it on. There you go guys, it's turned on. But I don't think it's going to be an ideal solution because you've got cables coming out from the bottom and cable coming out from the left side. Okay, I'm able to get it to go frozen. So that's the max fan speed. And let's go and start the game. Okay, for some reason the phone turned off. Might have something to do with trying to power up the cooler with the phone itself. So I guess for now let's power up that phone cooler with the power bank instead. There you go guys. Water! We can use this to put out fire! Good idea. Investigation and observation. We should get Jim to get the tide of the night. Hey guys, we're at 10 minutes. Let's do some temperature checks again. 38.3, 37.4, 35.3. Internal temps is at 37.2. So let's check at the back. 39.2. Right. Hey guys, 20 minutes in, 40.6, 40.7, and 36.7. Internal temperature is 40.2. <laughs> Thirty minutes. Thirty-nine point six. Internal temperature is thirty-nine point one. Okay, so as expected, temperatures were pretty well controlled with the use of the Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro. So, if you're going to be doing extended gaming sessions, then I suggest you invest in this little guy. And now, for the final test of this gaming session, will be on the Red Magic Six Pro with. The Red Magic Dual Core Cooler. Okay, guys, cooler is attached and it's up and running. Let's make sure it's connected. It seems to be an update, guys. Let's install that update. So, the update actually added English to the settings on the Dual Core Cooler because before it was all in Chinese, so I couldn't understand any of it. So, there's strong, super strong, and there's a colorful mode there. Ah, pretty much in English, guys. So now you've got the internal fan running and of course you've got 
the dual core cooler running. So in a sense, it's actually a triple cool system now. In guys. Went a bit over 30 minutes guys, but let's check the final temperatures. Alright guys, so just to recap, I ran Genshin Impact a total of uh, two times for each phone. Alright guys, so these are the results of my test. I put the temperatures on each part of the phone, the maximum temperatures. So you've got the maximum temperature in the top, the middle, and the bottom for all three phones. So the first run without the cooler, these are the results. And for the second run with the cooler, these are the results. And I also measured the temperatures at the back of the phone. So when you're using the phone, your hands are going to make contact with the back of the phone. So I wanted to measure it as well and see it will actually cause you to burn your fingers because of the heat. So here are the results without the cooler for each phone. And these are the temperature results for the back of the phone with the cooler. In terms of the frames per second or the FPS, the phone that was actually the most stable was the ROG Phone 5. Throughout my testing, the lowest frames per second or FPS that I got was around 42. With the Black Shark 4 Pro, the lowest I saw during my testing was 36 FPS and the worst one out of the three was the Red Magic 6 Pro. It actually reached a very low 25 frames per second. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the benchmark tool to run on any of the phones, probably because it's on Android 11. So I'll probably have to wait for an update to that before I can show you actual graphs. So this has been a pretty long video guys. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on the comment section down below on which phone handled Genshin Impact the best. But until then, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.